The MTV Music Awards took place on Thursday night just down the road from here at the Metropolitan Opera House. Thousands of people gathered to see the singers Lauren Hill and Ricky Martin top the list of winners. The biggest British success was Norman Cook, better known as Fatboy Slim. He took three awards. USA Direct's Ian Hardy was there. <laughs> Nineteen ninety nine has been the year of the perfectly packaged young pop idol, from In Sync to the Backstreet Boys to Britney Spears. A totally different story from just a couple of years ago when Oasis, Blur and Radiohead were favourites with the MTV Faithful. The only Brit to be nominated this year was Fatboy Slim, whose Praise You video took home three trophies for the Best Breakthrough Video, Best Direction and Best Choreography. I got two to it. <laughs> Ricky Martin had his hands full after two wins for the Best Dance Video and Best Pop Video. Living the Vida Loca has been credited with spreading the Latin beat further and faster around the world than any other song in history. It's so beautiful to see. It doesn't matter if you're Italian, Russian, Chinese, you know, shaking your hips and doing everything you want, so keep dancing. ex fuji singer Lauren Hill followed up an impressive winning streak at the Grammys earlier this year with several MTV awards to put on her shelf, including Best Video, Best Female Video and Best R&B Video. Madonna won in the Film Video category for her Austin Powers track, Will Smith won Best Male Video and the Backstreet Boys got the Viewer's Choice Award. Along with God, I'd like to thank all of our family that's been there through all the trials and tribulations that have supported us since day one. Since the the surprise of the night came from Welsh opera singer Charlotte Church, who was a guest presenter but burst into an impromptu operatic performance. Backstage, she had her own thoughts on why British acts were missing from the evening's proceedings. There are a lot of very, very good American artists at the moment, and I think that's kind of why they've overruled us. <laughs> America's current infatuation with teenage culture, as demonstrated in the U.S. box office this year, could be the likeliest reason why Mancunian rock has been pushed aside in favour of bubblegum pop. Ian Hardy, BBC News, New York.